Hey guys, Chris the Witch 2005 here again. Uh, I know I haven't been on my channel in like over a month. Uh, just because of different things here and there, I'm trying to get everything in my apartment all cleaned up. And if you guys, if any of you have ever seen my apartment, then yeah, my apartment's pretty much a mess. And I'm trying to get everything clean before I officially start my year in a day on October 30th so that I have a nice clean space and and you know balanced energy and everything and all that all that good stuff but a uh, little update on me I have been chosen to be a substitute on the Pagan Perspective if you guys haven't uh, ever watched the Pagan Perspective channel collab channel I encourage you to go on over there and see some of the videos and some of the topics that they've put up. I think it's a, a great collab channel. I think uh, a lot of people can get a, a good bit of information from it for their own path and you know even comment on what some people say putting it you know putting in their little two cents on their path. So it, it's really a good collab channel you know comment, subscribe, whatever to them. Um, and I did one, it was a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, somewhere around there, about, you know, the introductions and everything for the subs, or the substitutes, I can't speak today, but, uh, each substitute was supposed to give an introduction on, you know, who they are, you know, all that, all that good stuff, and I got a lot of subscribers saying, you know, Hey, you know, I don't understand Christian Wiccans. I don't understand how you can be Christian and Wiccan and all that good stuff and all that, you know. So, I want to start out by saying that, okay, even though I use the label Christian Wiccan, I don't know if it would be the best label to use. I basically use the label because it is the most accurate thing that I can describe. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's the most accurate thing that I can describe to make people understand what my belief system is. You know, I, I just don't know any other way to to describe it, so therefore I use Christian Wiccan. Even though there is a controversial term about, you know, monotheism with Christianity and polytheism with Wicca, you know, okay, you guys can hash it out, I'm not going to argue, whatever, you know. First off, I want to say, because, and I've told a lot of people that I was going to make this video on my personal channel, and they can come over and see all that, all that good stuff. Anyway, first off, I want to start out by saying, I believe in the Christian God and His Son, Jesus Christ. Otherwise, I would not really say that I'm Christian at all. So, that's, you know, primary in my faith. It's been that way for me since 99 so, yeah, a little over 10 years, yeah, well, 11 years now, a little over 11 years. So, <clears throat> uh, I, I, do, I do believe in the Christian God and Jesus Christ. I believe in a heaven and hell, which is not usually, you know, consistent with the Wiccan traditions and a lot of the Wiccan faiths and pagan faiths. Uh, and I know that, and the, you know what, that's what makes me unique, I guess. It's what makes me my own person. Um, and as for who gets to go where, I'm not the judge. I'm not going to tell you where you're going to go, heaven or hell, whatever. You know, that's not for me to decide. It never has been, even whenever I was a full-blown Christian. I would never tell anybody, you're going to hell because of this and this and this. Because ultimately, it it boils down to what's in your heart and and everything and I'm not the judge so therefore don't ask me to judge you whether or not you're going to hell or heaven so and if there is some purgatory ish place then I'm not even gonna tell you if you're going there whatever you know it's not for me to judge ask you know the universe ask your god or your goddess you know Ask somebody else, because I'm not, I'm not even going to get into that big bag of anything, yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> going on, I digress. 
Uh, by the way, I have everything like written down on like three sheets of paper here, so this might be a little long of a video. Um, I do believe in Satan and evil entities. Um, in the world, there is this perfect balance, you know, all the way down to the the amount of salt that's in in the ocean is the same amount that's within our bloodstream, and you know, it's a very perfectly balanced. Uh, system, even with the the salt in the ocean and and uh, the degrees of the tilt of the Earth's axis, everything's you know so finely tuned and so perfectly balanced that I I believe that having good without an evil would be an imperfect balance and therefore just wouldn't make sense to me. When you have good, there there is usually, if not always, an evil. Otherwise, why or how would you? describe that as good if there's nothing to judge it against. It's a balance factor for me. That's where I get it. Okay, um, since there is such a perfect balance, um, I also don't believe that there is anything here by chance. I, I don't believe in evolution. Um, and if you do believe in evolution, don't feel offended. I'm not judging you. Um, I've I've done a lot of research on this topic. Matter of fact, my senior research project whenever I was in high school was like a 20-page report on, you know, why I don't think evolution is possible. And it wasn't purely a Christian point of view, although many people would think that, oh, just because you're Christian means that you don't believe in evolution, all that stuff. No, you know, I actually did research. I researched the scientificness of it and everything, and I was purely objective with the scientific uh, you know, aspect of everything, and it just doesn't add up for me. So therefore, I don't believe in evolution. And if you want to debate me, don't. Um, I've debated a lot of people, I've done a lot of research on this, and debating people just gets tiresome because you just go back and forth, well, what about this, what about that, whatever, I don't care. So, you know, the point is, we are here, you know, so be it. You know, you believe in evolution, go ahead. If not, whatever. Um, if you believe a big pink bunny made the earth, okay, that's fine. You know, you're entitled to that belief. Um, however, if you do want uh, some, like, I know this really good book that if you want the title to it and, and all that, I'll actually have to look up the, the author for it and all that. I might end up putting it in the bottom bar, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's kind of late on a Saturday night, well, Sunday morning, so my brain's kind of scrambled. But, uh, yeah, if you want that title and author and everything, I'll get it to you. Just send me a PM or, you know, comment, whatever. I'm not going to debate you, though, so don't even try. Um, I don't believe in a goddess figure, basically because I believe that, uh... God is male and female, even though many times uh, people say Father God, and I'll even say Father God a lot, just because that's the traditional Christian way of saying, you know, for God is Father God. But even though I believe that, you know, God is male and female, I still call him Father God, all that stuff. And uh, as most of you know, even though... I use my ancestors in place of a goddess. I don't elevate them to a god or a goddess status. Um, I use them as spirit guides and, you know, to help me through everyday life. Um, I'm going to try to wrap it up here in a little bit because it's getting almost to like 10 minutes area. In keeping with the perfect balance uh, thing that I talked about a couple minutes ago, you know, with there being a perfect balance of good and evil and, and all the stuff within the earth, I also believe that there is a perfect balance because of the five elements. There's earth, fire, air, water, and then there's spirit, and I believe that whenever God made the earth, that he put his spirit, his essence, into everything within the earth, be it earth, air, fire, water, you know, whatever. So, within everything there's a spirit, and, uh, you know, that's what I view the energy as whenever 
I may do energy working or whatever. You know, that's where the energy comes from is that you could call it residual energy from God whenever he made the earth or maybe he's continuing on putting energy into the earth because he is continuing to sustain it. However you want to view it, you know, I would probably say still being put into the earth, but hey, now I'm rambling. So, but I'm going to wrap this up. I wanted to try to do this all in one take, so if there's mistakes in here, if I lose train of thought, whatever, uh, forgive me. So, I got to make another video um, here in a minute. So, I'll talk to you all later. Leave comments. If you have any questions on my, you know, my path and everything, always, you know, leave a comment, uh, shoot me a PM, whatever, just don't shoot me, so, I will talk to you all later, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to make another video here in a little bit, so, talk to you all, all later, talk to you all later, goodbye.